Welcome back to Bonanza Disc Golf. Today we have a pretty interesting video. If you're on Instagram and you follow a lot of the pros, you might recognize the disc that I have in my hand because recently Alden Harris did a giveaway of his 350G PA3s and he picked me as one of the winners. But to be honest with you, I already have a lot of discs. So I'm gonna put this on the line. I'm at Hitzman Optimist Park in Pensacola, Florida. Even though I really like this disc and the stamp, I don't know if I like the disc because I've never thrown it before. I've never thrown a PA3. Apparently the numbers are 3401, but I'm gonna play six holes here. And if I can't beat par with just this disc, I'm gonna have to give it away to somebody who recognizes me from my channel. Super cool little elephant stamp. Also got a van in there, just like my discs. It's the first run Bedanza Disc Golf discs. If you want to snag one of those, if they're not sold out yet, I'll leave this ad in there. If they are sold out, then you're never gonna see this. I'll tell you what, the feel of this disc is pretty solid. It is beaded, and I don't normally like beaded putters. So we'll see how I putt and throw with it. I think these are the same discs that Gannon Burr made his sweet ace on skins. And we're starting off with a really dumb hole to start off with, which is a 310 foot par three straight up the gut there. So it's going to be a pretty big turnover, which if you know Prodigy, you know, Alden Harris, Isaac Robinson, that's a shot they like. I think I can get a putter 310 feet. I just don't know if the first throw out of the box will be that good. We'll also see if I like PA threes, 173 grams. I'm not stalling because I don't want to throw this disc into a tree. Okay, way too nose up. I thought it would turn a lot more. Stay in bounds. All right, it stayed in bounds and it went pretty far. I just thought it would turn a little bit more than that, honestly. And even though it was nose up, I would say that that first flight was pretty true to a three, four, zero, one. A lot of glide, no turn, and a tiny, tiny bit of fade. We'll have a big putt to try to take the birdie. Otherwise, I didn't think this was the hole that I'd be getting my birdie train started on anyways. Also, Alden, if you're watching this video, you should definitely collab. Have me in the vlogs, I don't know. Also, if you haven't seen Alden's vlogs, you need to go watch them, they're very hysterical. But maybe when I'm on tour next year, or the year after, we can do something fun. A little low ceiling action to get us started. This isn't like comfy stepper range, but if this goes in the basket, I'll be very happy. That goes without saying, honestly. Wow, that's a terrible putt. Great layup though. I filmed two other videos today and I've been throwing all my putts into the ground for some reason. Might be the lack of food in my body at all today. Well, I had a bagel or two. <laughs> that's definitely enough. Alrighty, that's a putt to get started. Didn't throw it into the ground, so we're happy. It's all right, that wasn't the birdie hole. I'm just glad no trees have been touched by the elephant yet. All right, hole two here is a par three, 270. Again, straight, it's a little finish. So you can keep this one a little bit lower, but with all putters, you gotta keep them in the air a little bit so they can actually get the distance. Luckily this ceiling, if I just get below that low ceiling, we should be pretty happy. That just kind of goes far. I thought it was gonna be an ace for a second and then the basket was there and it was already over the basket. What the heck? All right, wow, I left myself a putt. I mean, right over the basket, just inside the circle too. I will say what's kind of funny is one of the other discs that I reviewed during this time that I've been here is the Prodigy F5. And I think the flight numbers on that are so wrong. And I think the flight numbers on this are so right, which is very, very funny from the same company. All right, don't throw it into the ground. Oh my gosh. I I threw it, why? Just not, my timing is so off right now for no reason. Look, I got a second mini so I can go practice that putt. Okay, par par. Apparently I have to put it within five feet if I want to take a birdie. So as long as I don't miss my line and I park one basket, we should be happy. I just don't want to, I don't want to not have this disc, seeing as though I was given it by a pro disc golfer, you know? All right, it's not on the ground, it's better. On to hole three. Also, I know it's a little bit late to call it this, but we're also gonna call this video a bag it or bin it, which means that I'm gonna be letting you know if you should bag this or throw it in the trash. Just in general PA3s, because I've never thrown them before and I was gonna do a bag it or bin it on them, and then I remembered that I can just use this video as that. As always with those, you don't beat par, I have to give it away, that's how they all work. But this one is just a little bit extra stakes. I think I wanna see how the forehand flies with this disc. With all putters, it's gonna flip up some. I'm honestly kind of thinking about testing those trees though. How don't, we got, do have a tailwind. And we are going downhill, okay. Just to be smooth, definitely could just be a backhand shot, but we're gonna try the forehand here. Oh yeah. I still, that this goes kind of far for a potter. It's kind of like my Opto Pures that I've thrown, except slightly more finish. It's like the in-between place of my Opto Pures and like the Proton Envy that I was thrown. It's kind of similar to an Electron Soft Envy that I threw for my Bag It or Bin It for those, but I kind of like it more, honestly, than the Envies. Just, I don't know why, but I do. Maybe because it, I was given it, but at the same time, let's make a putt. I know I'm probably about 30 feet again because the disc is going farther than it needs to be. Why? Something I don't know why that helps me sometimes when I'm putting bad. One, two, three, four, five. 
Ooh, this changes colors. Eight, nine, okay, 27 feet, is putting staggered stance instead of straddle. I don't know why, but sometimes that really helps my, me to not throw it into the ground. Well, I didn't throw it into the ground, so that's positive. Two and a half birdie chances, zero putts made with a putter. That's not good. I'm sure not making this easy on myself, huh? All right, hole nine is gonna be hole four. So we have three holes and we need at least one birdie because even par obviously isn't beating par, but just in case you're wondering, if I shoot even, I still have to give it away. Yikes. All right, it's only fair that we continue going four birdies, but it's 300 foot Anheuser shot with this tree that makes you not be able to throw an Anheuser shot. So this is a little scary. Just don't wanna hit that first tree and we should be good. Turn. Wow, even throwing so hard, that thing does not turn a lot. Good variety. What a good tree direction. <laughs> That's putting, I think. Oh my gosh. I'm actually kind of impressed with how well that thing holds a line at a three speed disc. I mean, I threw that pretty hard and it did not even flip. I'm glad I didn't hit this tree, but I am glad I hit that tree because I think that got us inside the circle and I was going to be pin high probably, but left side. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. Wow, that just kicked off there and then. So down in front of this tree. Still short, but just gotta take my time. There's a little wind whip ripping through here, which is not super comfy, but take your time, buddy. Come on, make a putt. I'm gonna blame this on the beaded putter and not my bad putting. <sighs> Try to compensate for my last miss. All right, two holes to get a birdie. And I've had a look on basically every hole. Come on. Go in the basket, buddy. You can do it. I promise. You can do it. Hey, hey, hey. All right, straight ahead of us, or big Anheuser, but I think the straight gap is the gap. 270 feet, I'm getting a little nervous now. I know I can hit this gap. If I sit it down early, we should be able to get the birdie. I just only have two holes left. Left it way left. I mean, I still hit the major gap, I just gotta circle two pot instead of circle two, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Well, I don't know if we're in or out. Good thing I have a range finder. Please read at least freaking 34. It says 32 feet. And then when I move it past my lie, it says 33 feet. So it's just inside the circle. That is so frustrating. Come on, I can make a putt. Yes. No! Oh, it felt like it was in. One more hole. One more hole and I need a birdie. All right, if there ever was a shot for the PA3, it looks like it'd be this one. Through this gap, it will fade. Oh, I just need to hit the gap, take a birdie. Be happy, focus. That was very short. That was in the ground, early release. I can make a putt, I can make a putt! Just repositioning so you can actually see me and the basket. There's literally no harm in missing this putt. Oh my gosh, let this freaking go. Oh, 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 I did not want to lose this disc. Just beat par, last throw of the game. Honestly, this is a really solid disc. It might make a rotation into my bag in that slightly stable slot, which I now have a need for because I just put this disc in the bag which probably would be easy to guess because it's Trash Panda's new inner core. Go watch my review of that video right there. Pick up some Danza Disc Golf stuff if you want to with the link down below, bedanzadiscgolf.com. Oh, that was such a good putt. I'm so glad I made that pressure putt. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, join the Patreon if you want, and you can choose which disc you want me to review. I need to go eat some food. I filmed three review videos on two bagels, and that's it.
That's not a good way to live your life. And two cups of coffee. That's really not it. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye, I love you. Beast. Alden Harris, I love you. Let's collab. Also, meant to say bag it. This is definitely a bag it. That was honestly one of the biggest pressure putts I've ever made, including in tournaments. <laughs> when a bro gives you something, you don't want to have to give it away. Woof!